Uh, well, I'd never seen the show. I was living in America. Um, pilot season was just about done, and I heard through my sister that there was a TV show out here called McLeod's Daughters, and they were looking for an Aaron Brockovich on a horse. And with my horse background um, and the fact that I was broke, I thought it would be good to audition. So I auditioned and um, they flew me out for a second audition and I got it. And here I am. I love it. Best thing that's ever happened. <laughs> How do you answer that one? <laughs> um, look, yeah, I, I suppose it's a bit hard to tell like, if I would have actually kissed Aaron as Aaron um, it would, I would be able to give you a better answer, but when you're kissing someone on screen, um, as I'm sure everyone, you've heard this a million times before, but it's very mechanical, and um, I can't really gauge how good a kisser he is, although I will say he's a bit naughty with his tongue. Yeah, that's it. When you're kissing someone on screen, um, the, there's a camera placed either side of you, so you always have to get the head tilt right, for one. You have to sort of talk about exactly the mechanics of the kiss. You're going to start here, kiss maybe twice there, then swap sides, and then you've got the whole crew <laughs> gathered around watching your every move. Um, so therefore, you're thinking you're thinking about what you got to do in the kiss rather than actually enjoying the kiss, which you know I'm sure I would do with Aaron if there wasn't a million people around. So <laughs> that's the mechanics of it, though. It's not great. <laughs> uh, I started acting quite late. Uh, I was a professional ballet dancer um, for years, from 18 till what was he, 23, I suppose. Um, and it was only because of an injury that I, that I had from dancing um, that I was taking some time off. Um, and I had an agent, though, who called up after only a week or something and said, look, I've got, a, I've got an audition for you. And I, I went, no, I told you I need a break. And uh, she was like, no, it's for, it's for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, it's a TV commercial. Uh, and I was like, what? No, I can't do that. And she said, okay, well, it pays like $2,000. I was like, yes, I can. <laughs> so I, that's how I started my acting. Um, it was a lot of TV commercials. Uh, I think there was about 23 TV commercials in, say, three, three and a half years, all here in Australia, and I just kept changing my, my hair colour. And um, the same director would get me back for all different things, from car ads to banks to, you know, Pepsi, everything. We, we could <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know, we, we covered them all. Um, and so that's how I started, and I certainly wasn't confident then. And then I went over to Baywatch um, in Hawaii, and slowly but surely, I suppose, my conf confidence started to grow. And now, I mean, that really wasn't a, a challenge acting-wise, Baywatch. <laughs> the biggest challenge was running nicely, keeping my swimmers down and not having them go, you know, where. Um, so, but on this show... I mean, this, this show has been a challenge for me, um, and I think as an actor I have I've grown up a lot on, on this show because of the material that I'm working with and because of the excellent cast. The cast are also talented and they, they all pick up your game kind of thing. So I'm very lucky.